Good day everyone, welcome to our fisheries board exam review. In this video we are going to answer and discuss some board exam review questions under the area of aquatic resources and ecology. Topic, aquatic ecology. So, let's get started. Question number one. The blank of an organism is the position it occupies in a food chain. A. Food chain. B. Food web. C. Trophic level. D. Food pyramid. The correct answer is C, trophic level. Trophic level, step in a nutritive series, or food chain, of an ecosystem. The organisms of a chain are classified into these levels on the basis of their feeding behavior. The first and lowest level contains the producers, green plants. The plants or their products are consumed by the second level organisms, the herbivores, or plant eaters. At the third level, primary carnivores, or meat eaters, eat the herbivores. And at the fourth level, secondary carnivores eat the primary carnivores. Number 2. It is the average number of individuals per unit area, or per unit volume. A. Population size. B. Population. C. Population density. D. Biomass. The answer is C. Population density. Population density is the concentration of individuals within a species in a specific geographic locale. It also gives an idea of the degree of crowding, or the degree of access of individuals to scarce resources such as food or space. Population density is often measured in terms of biomass. Number 3. Region with no thermocline. A. Tropical region. B. Extratropical region. C. High altitude region. D. Polar region. The correct answer is D, polar region. Thermocline is defined by the vertical temperature gradient. In the ocean, the depth and strength of the thermocline vary from season to season and year to year. In high latitude, polar regions, there is little difference between the surface temperature and the deep water temperature, and temperature is fairly constant and cold at all depths. Polar waters therefore lack a strong thermocline, and as with tropical water, there is little seasonal change in temperatures. Number 4. Creeks, rivers, and streams belong to what type of environment? A. Lodic. B. Lentic. C. Sustainable. D. Productive. The correct answer is A. Lodic. Lodic ecosystems are characterized by the interaction between flowing water with a longitudinal gradation in temperature, organic and inorganic materials, energy and the organisms within a stream corridor. These interactions occur over space and time. Number 5. It is the topmost layer in a thermally stratified lake. A. Epilimnion. B. Hypolimnion. C. Abyssal. D. Pelagic. The correct answer is A. Epilimnion. Typically, stratified lakes show three distinct layers. The upper layer is a warm, lighter, well-mixed zone called the epilimnion. Epilimnion is warmer and has a higher pH and higher DO concentration. Typically, it becomes turbulently mixed as a result of surface-8 wind mixing. It is also free to exchange dissolved gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide with the atmosphere because this layer receives the most sunlight it contains the most phytoplankton. Number 6. An aquatic system lacking dissolved oxygen, 0% saturation, is termed, blank. A. Toxic. B. Disoxic. C. Hypoxic. D. Anoxic. The correct answer is D. Anoxic. An aquatic system lacking dissolved oxygen, 0% saturation, is termed anaerobic, reducing, or anoxic a system with low concentration, in the range between 1 and 30% saturation, is called hypoxic or disoxic. Most fish cannot live below 30% saturation. A healthy aquatic environment should seldom experience less than 80%. Number 7. A partly enclosed coastal body of brackish water with one or more rivers or streams flowing into it, and with a free connection to the open sea. A. Bay. B. Estuary. C. Strait. D. Fjord. The correct answer is B, estuary. 
Estuaries and their surrounding wetlands are bodies of water usually found where rivers meet the sea. Estuaries are home to unique plant and animal communities that have adapted to brackish water, a mixture of fresh water draining from the land and salty seawater. Number 8. Reefs that surround a central lagoon. A. Fringing. B. Barrier. C. Atoll. D. Apron. The correct answer is C. Atoll. An atoll is a ring-shaped coral reef, island, or series of islets. An atoll surrounds a body of water called a lagoon. Sometimes, atolls and lagoons protect a central island. Channels between islets connect a lagoon to the open ocean or sea. An atoll develops from a coral reef that rings a volcanic island. Number 9. Transition zone with enough light for vision but nor for photosynthesis. A. Aphotic. B. Dysphotic. C. Euphotic. D. Trophilitic. The correct answer is B. Dysphotic. The dysphotic zone is found just below the photic zone and is known as the twilight zone. In this zone, only a small amount of light penetrates the water. Plants do not grow here due to the insufficient amount of light. The darkness layer or aphotic zone is entirely dark meaning there is no light. Number 10. Study of inland waters. A. Potomology. B. Hydrology. C. Hydrobiology. D. Limnology. The correct answer is D. Limnology. Limnology covers all inland waters, which may be lakes, rivers, streams, reservoirs, groundwater, and wetlands. These are often freshwater systems, but limnology also includes inland salt and brackish, or slightly salty, waters. Number 11. A system with low concentration of oxygen in the range between 1 and 30 percent saturation is called a. toxic b. anaerobic c. hypoxic d. anoxic The correct answer is c. hypoxic. In ocean and freshwater environments, the term hypoxia refers to low or depleted oxygen in a water body. Hypoxia is often associated with the overgrowth of certain species of algae, which can lead to oxygen depletion when they die, sink to the bottom, and decompose. As dead algae decompose, oxygen is consumed in the process, resulting in low levels of oxygen in the water. Number 12. The aqueous envelope of the Earth including fresh and salt bodies of water. A. Ionosphere. B. Reservoir. C. Groundwater. D. Hydrosphere. The correct answer is D. Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is the total amount of water on a planet. The hydrosphere includes water that is on the surface of the planet, underground, and in the air. Number 13. A defined area of the sea established and set aside by law, administrative regulation, or any other effective means. A. Marine protected area. B. Marine sanctuary. C. Marine park. D. Marine reserve. The correct answer is A. Marine protected area. MPAs are defined area of the sea established and set aside by law administrative regulation in order to conserve and protect a part of or the entire enclosed environment. Through the establishment of management guidelines, it is considered a generic term that includes all declared areas governed by specific rules or guidelines in order to protect and manage activities within the enclosed area. Number 14. Lakes with high concentration of ion are called? A. Hardwater lakes. B. Natural lakes. C. Softwater lakes. D. Volcanic lakes. The answer is A. Hard water lakes. Lakes with high concentrations of the ions calcium and magnesium are called hard water lakes, while those with low concentrations of these ions are called softwater lakes. Number 15. The area on the inside of a river bends where deposited materials accumulate. A. Delta. B. Leaves. C. Point bar. D. Flood plain. The answer is C, point bar. 
Point bars are found on the concave side of the meanders of large rivers and are sediments deposited in a linear fashion by flowing waters along the bank. Number 16. Longest river in the world. A. Yellow River. B. Nile River. C. Yangtze River. D. Amazon River. The correct answer is B. Nile River. The Nile River flows from south to north through eastern Africa. It begins in the rivers that flow into Lake Victoria and empties into the Mediterranean Sea more than 6,600 kilometers to the north, making it one of the longest river in the world. Number 17. The flowing out of lighter freshwater above the heavier saltwater in an estuary towards the sea is called a. Outwelling, b. Hypopycnal flow, c. Turbulence, d. None. The correct answer is B. Hypopycnal flow. Hypopycnal flow is associated with a lower river water density entering a higher density standing water density in the basin. This type of flow developed at the mouth of a delta where the fresh water from the river flows as a buoyant plume over the denser salt water. The salt water will ride under the fresh water and enter the river channel as an upstream tapering wedge. Number 18 occurs when members of one species live at the expense of individuals of another, ideally without consuming the hosts totally as food and thereby killing them. a. Ectoparasite. b. Parasitism. c. Predation. d. Food web. The correct answer is b. Parasitism. Parasitism is the relationship between two species of plants or animals in which one benefits at the expense of the other, sometimes without killing the host organism. Number 19. It is a more inclusive term that includes not only the physical space occupied by the organism but also its functional role in the community. a. Ecological niche. b. Fundamental niche. c. Realized niche. d. Macrohabitat. The correct answer is a, ecological niche. An ecological niche refers to the interrelationship of a species with all the biotic and abiotic factors affecting it. Number 20. This is also known as, total photosynthesis, or, total assimilation. a. Net primary product. b. Net community product. c. Secondary productivity. d. Gross primary product. The correct answer is D. Gross primary product. Gross primary productivity is the total rate of photosynthesis including organic matter used up in respiration during the measurement period. Number 21. It is a close, long-lasting, physical relationship between two different species. A. Mutualism. B. Symbiosis. C. Successions. D. Commensalism. The correct answer is B. Symbiosis. Symbiosis is a term describing any relationship or interaction between two dissimilar organisms. The specific kind of symbiosis depends on whether either or both organisms benefit from the relationship. Number 22. The only group of submerged flowering plants in the marine environment. A. Seagrass. B. Algae. C. Flower. D. Grass. The correct answer is A. Seagrass. Seagrasses have distinct physical features and the presence of roots and a vascular system and the ability to flower distinguish seagrasses from other marine plants like the seaweeds. Number 23. They are often referred to as coastal woodland, tidal forest and mangrove forest. A. Seagrass ecosystem. B. Coral reef ecosystem. C. Mangrove ecosystem. D. Estuary. The correct answer is C. Mangrove ecosystem. Mangrove forests make up one of the most productive and biologically diverse ecosystems on the planet. They grow in a variety of depths of salt water, their roots sticking up out of the mud, with fish, crustaceans and a host of other species living between tree trunks. Number 24. It deals with the study of groups of organisms which are associated together as unit. A. Synecology. B. Ecology. C. Autocology. D. Biology.
The correct answer is A. Synecology. Synecology focuses on a larger level as it examines ecology at communities on spatial and temporal levels. Number 25. The father of limnology. A. Antoine van Leeuwenhoek. B. Justice von Liebig. C. Francois Alphonse Farrell. D. Peter Arteti. The answer is C. Francois Alphonse Farrell. Francois Alphonse Farrell was a Swiss physician and scientist who pioneered the study of lakes. In his pioneering monograph Le Leymon at the end of the 19th century, the term limnology gained rapid acceptance both in Europe and North America. Farrell is regarded as the father of the discipline. And that's all for this video. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.